When I got hurt, I really struggled mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Some of the darkest times of my life. It was rough on everybody. I think that's one of the things that most veterans struggle with, especially when they get wounded. Not wearing the uniform anymore, losing that sense of identity and, and purpose. What am I gonna do with the rest of my life now? I was infantry. You know, the guys that go in, kick down doors and you know, do all the grunt work and you know, fight the fight. I loved it and I, even before I got a basic training, I knew that that's what I wanted to do. The, you know, the physicality of it, pushing yourself, you know, being a leader, you know, the camaraderie, everything. It was, you know, you get to shoot guns and blow stuff up and I loved everything about it. We were on a patrol at night in the city of Ramadi and my Humvee ran over a roadside bomb and then we were ambushed. Went to Walter Reed Hospital in Washington, D.C. That's where my leg was amputated. Spent most of that time learning how to walk. You really gotta learn how to do everything again. Not, not even just physical, but you know, mental, uh, emotional, psychological. I had to learn how to deal with all that and get ready to go back out in, into the world. One day, my therapist said, hey, I got something I think you'd wanna try. And he had a hand cycle there, and we took it out on the veranda just that went around the hospital. And I was just able to ride that and just, it was, it was like being a kid again, you know, like learning how to ride a bike for the first time kind of thing. And I just, I loved it and got done. I said, I gotta get me one of these. Then I went to Fort Benning for a year and that's where I got my first hand cycle. Then when we went back here, it sat in our shed back here for probably about two years. I was at the Y in Angola. I was praying everything that day and I just felt like God was telling me, go get that hand cycle out and start riding it and, and race it and do it for my glory. And I walked out of the gym, got it out the next day and started riding, that was 2011. <laughs> that first day I went out and rode, I think I rode 13 miles and I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> and I didn't ride again for like another two weeks. I was so sore and tired and everything. And then um, I went out and did it again. And I told my wife, I said, no matter what happens, make sure I go out and ride my bike the next day it's to get start getting used to it. So it's just a gradual build up to, I can go out and ride 50, 60, 70 miles a day and just do it every day. In 2012, I started getting competitive. I went to a couple international races, went to the national championships for the first time. That's also where I realized that I got a lot more work to do. It was probably about 2013, I think, before I won my first race. And then uh, 2014, I made the first national team, world championship team, and slow but steady process, you know, keep moving up. One of the good things about hand cycle is a lot of marathons will allow us to compete. So yeah, I've been able to race and win in Boston, I think five times. LA Marathon, Detroit Marathon, Chicago Marathon, and then races all over the country, all over the world, been to Rio, Bogota, Colombia, all over Europe and Italy, Belgium, Germany, South Africa. It's, it's taken me to literally all over the world and it's been, it's been amazing to be able to go to the nice places of the world. It's definitely been quite the journey. My initial goal was 2012 Paralympics in London. When I went to that first national championships, I got smoked. I got smoked pretty bad. That's why I realized I had a lot of work to do. Really the 2016 season is when I put in a ton of work and um, it all paid off making that first team. When I went to Rio, I let the pressure, I let the stress of everything get to me and I was very upset with my performances and ever since then my whole goal has been get back and go to Tokyo and, and make it right. So this year was great. I went to the Paralympic trials in June and um, I actually won the trials outright. Honestly, that's, that's what my goal was the whole season was go there and win and not have any doubt of whether I'd make the team or not. And uh, yeah, I was able to go do that. We do a Bible study group when we go to races. There's several of us that get together and one day we talked about how you define success and we use John Wooden's definition of success, doing your absolute very best that you can with the opportunities and the talent that you've been given. So I really tried to, uh, to focus on that. I just wanna go over there and I wanna do my very best that I can.
If I come home with some medals, that's that's awesome. But if I go there and, and I do my absolute best and walk away with nothing, I, I can live with that. <laughs>